Hi everyone, I'm Dr. Sagar Sahu and welcome to Head Surgery at Ease. Today I welcome you another case report. Okay, before going to the case report, do subscribe to this channel if you find the contents are very helpful. You can share this channel also and you can share the videos in your batchmate among your friends, juniors and uh, seniors. You can share in your batchmates groups also. Okay. And also you can join the telegram channel which I have created in the name Bed Surgery at Ease. You can search in telegram and you can join. There I have uh, shared different notes, books and also these class notes and uh, in very short time I will also do the do share the PPTs which I am showing in during the classes also and also in the case reports okay whatever I am doing I will share in that uh, group also apart from that you can also follow me in Instagram where I do some quizzes also and on Facebook and uh, Twitter also okay so let us start our case report this is a case report on management of thigh abscess in a cow if you have been following my channel religiously you will be knowing that i have already posted a video on thigh abscess okay this thigh abscess was the biggest abscess that i have ever seen okay in my entire life this is like 30 cm long we'll see that also okay I will let me give you some history also this is also important okay whatever I am doing on day one before that what happened so like 20 days day minus 20 you can say there was BQ okay the animal suffered from BQ so treatment was given and the animal got cured but the animal developed some swelling okay you can say abscess in the thigh area okay so seven days before that is day minus seven I uh, saw the case and also I did the drainage like we do star step incision then we do the drainage and some with gauze we do the curating whatever that I can do okay I did but it record okay so when I palpated actually very religiously I palpated very cautiously I palpated I saw that that abscess was actually not localized to that particular thigh muscle it was going above above to the gluteus okay it was very big abscess like nearly 30 centimeter if you uh, do the tape measurement 30 centimeter th okay and nearly 8 centimeter 7 to 8 centimeter wide okay it is very big abscess so i decided i will open that abscess and i will remove and i will debride the things off okay then i will do the suturing and i will place or drainage catheter the detailed procedure video is available in my channel i will uh, share the link in the description you can check that okay here i will discuss what i actually did in the video you can see only the procedure but what i am doing it may not be understandable from that okay so on the day one i did the surgery before that i do the measurement you know the formula lg square by 660 okay here length and girth will be measured in inches okay it will give the weight in kg okay it is essential you should measure the body weight before giving sedatives i used here xylazine as sedative before giving xylazine i told the owner to keep the animal fasting for 24 hours okay then i gave xylazine at the dose rate of 0.08 mg per kg body weight intramuscularly okay I used xylazine. After xylazine, I gave the incision. Okay, here you can see I gave the incision. Here, this is a very clear picture. You can see the incision. Okay, see the pause things. Okay, these are pause materials. Here also there are some pause. These are basically part of the pyogenic membrane. Okay, I have already taken a class regarding the cyst abscess and tumor differentiating. In case of abscess, I told you there will be pyogenic membrane. Okay, it is basically necrotic tissues. Okay, here if you can notice, see here. Here I have done some debridement. Those debrided tissues, see here. Okay, these are pus materials. See here. About one liter of pus came out. Okay, it was so big. 
I will I will show you how big this was. I didn't forget actually. See here, this is the swelling, and this swelling was going up to the gluteus like this. This was the swelling. See how big this is. This was 300 plus cow, uh, three quintal above uh, cow. You can see this one. And I remember one thing actually. You may find some theory or some persons may say that gelatin causes abortion. This cow was six months pregnant. I have used gelatin, still no abortion. If you will also follow some articles and also theory, you will see that in very less population, around four to five percent, it may cause abortion. This is for your information. So I did the debridement. I removed whatever the pyogenic membrane was there. Okay, here you can see some things are here and here. Okay, these are the things which are looking white are basically part of pyogenic membrane, or you can say dead and necrotic tissues. It is very vital. You should remove as much as dead and necrotic tissues possible. Okay, remove all of them. If it is possible, remove all of them. Best thing to know whether you are removing correctly or not is bleeding. If you are removing the pyogenic dead tissues, do not bleed. Okay, only live tissues are bleed. Okay, so you have to remove the dead tissue up to that extent when you will see the capillary bleeding. This is the principle of debridement. Here, after the debridement, I placed the Foley catheter. This is the placing of Foley catheter. Okay, and uh, here I have done the cruciate pattern suturing. Cruciate. Okay, some people also tell cruciate as cross mattress. Cross mattress. Okay, I, in my opinion, I do not prefer cross mattress. Okay, the term because mattress is actually inversion suture. Okay, but cruciate is actually a positional suture. And one more thing here you should know here the suture tension line will be like this. Okay, I am cutting along the suture line. That is why I am doing the appositional suturing. If I would have, if at all, got against the tension line, I might have gone for the horizontal mattress or vertical mattress because they are tension relieving sutures. If you want to know that when to prefer which suture, I have already made a video regarding the suture patterns. I will also give the link in the description. You should know. Okay. So here I did the cruciate pattern. Okay, here you can see cruciate pattern, and I fixed a Foley catheter regarding the drainage. Okay, here the animal has been recovered from the sedation that is given dialysis. What are the treatments that I have given? I gave some antibiotic that is I preferred septreaction, septreaction solbactam. I gave some anti-inflammatory ketoprofen. I preferred ketoprofen. Also, I told the owner to give the saline floss. Saline floss twice daily. Okay, through this tube, I told. I also demonstrated how to do that. I told that you should floss twice daily. The importance of flossing that because you have placed this Foley catheter, it will block the drainage. So when you will floss this, the material which will be present or which will be remnant, they will get diluted and through the Foley catheter they will come out. If you do not do any flossing, they will not come out through the Foley catheter because they may get thick and which may not come out through the Foley catheter. I will, I will also show you why this is important. Okay. So the saline floss I also told. Apart from, apart from that, some commercial preparation like I do not want to take brand name, but for this case report I am telling I used Bobby Hill, which is coming from uh, as from Intouch company actually. So I used Bobby Hill, which is basically a tissue healer. Okay, so I gave Bobby Hill. The importance was saline plus. You have to do the saline. I told the owner to do saline plusing twice daily for seven days. For seven days. I was planning that I will remove the catheter on eighth or ninth day. Okay, I will remove the catheter and uh, after that it will not be necessary. Whatever I have planned. Okay, so this was then septation solbactam was given for seven days. Ketoprofen was given for three days. 
this much i did apart from that i also suggested from physiotherapy okay physiotherapy i told the owner to give hot fomentation twice daily just after the flushing this was the treatment protocol which i followed so on day 10 when i went for the removal of the foley catheter all thanks to the owner actually many times they do not keep this catheter okay animal will remove but they have taken very good care that the catheter has not been removed by the animal okay but they have been some slightly careless okay i told about the flushing okay but they did for 5 days then they stopped when they stopped the pus become thick when the pus became thick it, even after the flushing it will not come out okay so i when i removed the catheter you can see very thick pus here you see this has been healed up to this portion it has been healed okay only the swelling is here because this has been healed but still the pyogenic membrane which is a, or the tissue uh, you can say necrotic tissues which has come from above has been accumulated here because the owner did not do the flushing after five days or he stopped flushing so this thick pus cannot form out to the foley catheter unless and until it has been diluted okay so i removed this thick pus okay then i did the metrogel flushing metrogel what is metronidazole okay metronidazole flushing metronidazole flushing then after i did the 10% covidon iodine plus 10% covidon iodine okay plus after that i also told on the owner to give strepto penicillin okay strepto penicillin for 3 days strepto penicillin for 3 days okay and regarding the sutures the sutures were nicely healed the upper sutures has been nicely healed but the last 3 to 4 sutures which were above the ball of the foley catheter foley catheter has a ball okay above the ball they have not healed so i told the owner to wait for the 6 to 7 days after the removal catheter when they will heal i will remove the sutures okay and uh, i prescribed only streptopenicillin and i did the flushing and then after i told you should continue the physiotherapy once which is basically giving hot fomentation twice daily so this is on day 20 when i removed the sutures you can see very very nice healing no more swelling okay this has been completely healed up completely healed okay no recurrence nothing till now no recurrence and regarding the abortion still animal is pregnant no abortion though i have used gelazin there is also another case which i have done recently there also i have used gelazin the animal was 5 months pregnant though not confirmed but there has not be any report of abortion okay so this was the case report when you will find very big abscess do the in, give the incision adequate length do remove the necrotic and pyogenic membrane then it will heal very nicely you might drain the abscess repeatedly and it may get record okay because the many a times the incision itself is not uh, adequate another thing many a times there will you will find in some places for small abscess it may do okay they will put a gauze soaked in iodine to destroy the pyogenic membrane but the thing is many a times the veterinarian himself will forget and the owner himself will forget and the gauze will get adhered to the tissues and it will be very difficult to the remove the gauze okay it is for small abscesses for big abscesses like this okay sometimes you may find some thoracic abscess cases which is very very big those cases you need big incisions and you have no need to debride or you can say curate those dead tissues you have to remove those dead, dead tissues and do place a catheter like foley catheter it is very good practice to give foley catheter so that and uh, also flushing okay foley catheter along with flushing is a very good practice for abscess management so that it will heal very very nicely many times you will find the abscess healing in take months or even if two months three months okay you may not need those long times this is the biggest one 30 cm nearly okay 30 maybe more than 30 cm it healed in 20 days only 
ओके इफ ओनर हैज बीन डन द फ्लॉसिंग फोर नेक्स्ट टू टू थ्री डेज इट मे हैव हिल्ड मच अर्लियर ओके सो दिस इज अबाउट द केस रिपोर्ट दिस केस दिस मे बी अ स्मॉल वन बट दिस इज अ फील्ड केस रिपोर्ट व्हिच आई हैव ट्राइड समथिंग न्यू ओके वी विल मीट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास टिल देन सी यू बाय बाय टेक केयर